This is Ground Affected. My name is your dad. And in this video, I'm gonna show you this new machine from Innova 3D. Now there's nothing revolutionary about a machine that is essentially just a box with the UV light in it. However, Innova 3D has taken this uh, box with light in to a next level. And this level is uh, one of very high quality, even if I have to say this myself. Of course, Nova sent me this machine and asked me if I would make a video about it, and I couldn't say no. In the beginning of my 3D printing uh, stages of this hobby, I used Nova 3D resin because their resin was the only resin that didn't give me any troubles and printed like a fantastic from the beginning. And because of that, I trust this brand with the products that they offer me because I have noticed that their products are always of very high quality. So without any more uh, faffle let's just uh, speak about this machine and what's its advantages. This is the Nova 3D Fast Cure 2. It is basically the next level curing device. Technically, it basically is a machine that combines the power of UV light and uniform exposure to significantly enhance the mechanical properties as well as the dimensional accuracy of your printed parts. With a curing size of 200 millimeters by 250 millimeters, uh, I don't think it's too small either. It's pretty much a pretty decent size for most curing parts. Also, just to remind you, if you are interested in this machine, uh, there will probably be a link for it in the description down below. Make sure to check that out. Nova says that this machine has 48 120 watt high power LED lights inside of it. Uh, this basically means that the Fast Cure 2 delivers a powerful punch with its UV power output range of 200 to 1000 uh, milliwatts per cubic centimeter squared. All this equates to uh, basically that the machine is super fast. It means that it can complete this, the solidification process of your curing of your resin parts in as little as one minute. And uh, speaking of time, as you can see, you have a lot of options available to you when you want to cure something in this machine. You have a load of different timing that you can use, as well as a low and a medium and a high setting for the light that you want to expose at, basically. So this gives you an option if you're doing thinner, smaller bits, you might want to cure them on a lower uh, setting for the density or the power, I don't know what you want to call it, but you can use a lower setting on a smaller amount of time, or if you're doing denser, thicker, bigger parts, you can use a higher setting uh, for a longer time. One thing that I did notice with this uh, particular curing machine is that the parts got really warm, which obviously means that the exothermic reaction which is happening during the cure is a, a pretty active. As you can see, the power supply is one of these kettle plug things that you just plug in the back, which is fantastic. The build quality of the machine is also fantastic. This is all made of metal. It's honestly built really nice. I don't know if this is a glass or a plexiglass in the front, but it has a safety feature. When you open it, it stops curing and you can't burn your eyeballs or your brain with the UV light coming out of the machine. And uh, that I think is a very fantastic feature as well. As you can see, there are these strip LEDs on the sides, both on each side and one on the top, and this really shiny uh, interior, which helps to distribute the light all around the inside of this machine, making sure that every single part of your printed piece is getting the correct curing during the second solidification process. I guess about now I should probably give you my opinion on this machine. I have uh, tested and reviewed a couple of curing machines before on my channel and so far of all of them this one hits the spot for me the most. I don't know what it is about it that makes it do that but I think it's down to the build quality as well as the ease of use and it just does the job really really well. It does exactly what it's meant to do and it's super easy to work. I don't have to lift the weird top off of it. It opens nice and easy. Um, pretty much I like it. Can you get something to cure for a lot less money than this? Yes, of course you can. But if you're the kind of person that likes high quality things, then this is probably more up your alley over just a normal nail bar. 
Hopefully this video gave you the information that you needed uh, to make a decision or to not make a decision. It doesn't really matter whatever you do from here on. I would like to say a special thank you to my Patreons uh, for supporting my channel and keeping the lights blind in my eyeballs all the time. We are now at the part of a video where I get to tell you if you didn't like what you saw in this video, then tough. It's time for you to now cough. I wonder if I can get a tan in this machine.